So this one here is my 30 degree angle. So I'm using the 30, 60, 90 rule. Well, this is my 30, 60, 90 rule right here. Across from 30, we see is question mark. So I go to the 30 and go across from it, and I land on the A side. Then I take a peek at 60. Across from 60 is question mark root 3. So I go across from the 60, and I land here, question mark root 3. And then 90, well across from 90 is 2 times question mark. So I go across from this here, and I get 2 times question mark. Okay. Again, I don't think this one's too bad either. If I cover up the root threes here, you can see the question mark is nine. <coughs> question mark is nine. Right, so I can fill in the other sides. This side just says question mark. So that's just nine, so A is nine. This side, B, says two times question mark. Well, we just said question mark is 9, so that's 2 times 9, or 18. So B is 18. All right, example 4, find A and B, and you can see this one, we've got another 30 degree angle, got a right angle, so this has to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Get in the dry still drawing. Okay, so obviously I want to label that 60. So I can keep track. All right. So across from 30 is question mark. So my 30 go across. This side here where B is is question mark. Across from 60, question mark root 3. Across from 60, question mark root 3. And across from the 90, 2 times question mark. Across from 90, 2 times question mark. All right. So you can see that 2 times question mark is the same as 8. Well, that means question mark has to be 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So question mark has to be 4. Okay. So this side, the A side, is question mark root 3, or 4 root 3. And the B side, the B side just says question mark, so B is just 4. Example five, one more find A and B. And this one you can see we've got a 45 and a 90, so the other angle obviously has to be 45 degrees. This problem I'm telling you right now is here intentionally. They're trying to confuse you. Let's go back over here and take a look. Across from the 45s, each of them should be question mark. So across from 45 is this side here, question mark. Across from this 45 is the A side, question mark. And then across from the 90 side is question mark root 2. So I come across from the 90 and I land <coughs> on question mark root 2. Now the instinct here is to say, okay, question mark root 2 should be here because that's got root 2 in it. Right? Well, that's not right in this one. Question mark is actually equal to 3 root 2, right? which is a little bit different. All right. So question mark equals 3 root 2. We know this question mark has to also equal 3 root 2, so that's A. Now this B 
It says question mark root 2. Well, we know that this question mark by itself makes 3 root 2. And then I've got this root 2 here that was already there. So that side equals 3 root 2 root 2. All right. Now, root 2 times root 2, that can be simplified. What's root 2 times root 2? Root 4. Root 4. So that's the same as 3 root 4. Now, what do we know about the square root of 4? That's equals 2. So this is really the same as 3 times 2, or 6. six. So b equals 6. Now, I'm not saying there's a bunch of problems like that on homework, but there's probably one or two. Again, they're there trying to see really if you're paying attention or not. OK, let's get to example 6 down here at the bottom, and then we're done. A baseball field has a distance between adjacent bases of 90 feet. So when I'm talking about adjacent bases, I mean home to first, first to second, second to third, third to okay. What is the distance a catcher would need to throw to reach the mound at second base? Baseball field has a distance between adjacent bases of 90 feet. What is the distance a catcher would need to throw to reach the mound second base. Oh goody, I get to draw. At least I don't have to draw a boat. Okay. Alright, so here comes my crude baseball diamond. second base. Now, if I draw this side in, look at what we know. This here would be my right angle, and we know that this and that are the same because they're both 90 feet of distance. 90 feet of distance. All right, so two sides the same on a right angle. That means that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. All right, now 45, 45, 90 by rule is question mark, question mark, question mark, root 2. So across from the 45, this side here is question mark. Across from 45 here, this side is question mark. Across from the 90 is question mark, root 2. Okay, well, we already know that the distance between here and here and here and here is 90. Well. As you can see, that means that question mark has to make 90. So if this is question mark root 2, then that's what root 2? 90 root 2. All right, and if you wanted to get a number for that, you could do 90 times the square root of 2 and come up with a perfect number, or not a perfect number, but a decimal. But you can leave the root 2. Now the mound, well, the mound would be in the middle. Well, 90 root 2, cut it in half. Okay. Now, this is not something we've done, but it's not difficult. Right. If I cover up the root 2, you've got 90 divided by 2. 90 divided by 2. 45 root 2. Ooh, tricky. Okay. You're not checking those, 